Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. So I started, I pulled some cards from the past life deck for y'all. Okay, so this is interesting. The reason why I did it is because of um this galactic codes in your sleep that came out um during the live I did a while ago. Starseed Galactic Origins Hybrid, okay. Um, okay, so that's why I decided to pull some from the past life deck. And what I'm getting for somebody here, or some of y'all, is like I was saying in that live, somebody here is not from here with the galactic card coming out. So, it's giving me, even with leaving or travel, that, you know, you had to leave where you, wherever you were from. Okay, so this, this don't have to be, if y'all don't resonate with being from another planet, okay, or galaxy or something that's what i'm saying but if y'all don't you know resonate with that then it could just be from far away from where you are at now okay so you had to leave where you were from and you can have some phobias about um certain things in this life because of being persecuted in in a lot in your last life okay imprisonment or slavery you can have fears of and then love life up under that okay that's interesting but so with the phobias and food and hunger and imprisonment or slavery you could have um or this could be things you went through in your younger life too if you don't resonate with past lives so you could have fear of abandonment with leaving or travel or a fear of having of getting being settled somewhere and then just having to up and leave with this phobia is in Celtic. Okay. So this could be like, is this German? Yeah, it's really it's really kind of creepy. The things that I'm feeling like you went through in past lives. So I don't I don't want to go too deep into that, but so you can have fears of certain other cultures or, or ethnicities or whatever because of some kind of something that happened in a past life is what I'm getting at without saying anything that's going to, you know, ruffle anybody up. <laughs> I won't want to. Uh, never mind. Boy, it ain't on me like water rice. <laughs> Y'all seem good energy my way. No, it's all good. Okay, so, but I'm getting this feeling like because you have this galactic origin, though, it's it's almost like that's the reason why uh, certain certain groups have um, tried to persecute you. It could be that you are you have some kind of um, spiritual practice or something um, that you did in a past life that. Which that could have been anything really, any kind of religion or spiritual practice. If it wasn't um, what certain pe the people in power believed or whatever, then you could really get yourself in some trouble. Okay, is what I'm getting. So that could be just spilling over into this life for some of y'all that are. Um, and then it's like things being taken away from me. So. It's giving me a Taurus energy because, I don't know, it's like fear of not having enough, okay? Well, more like South Node Taurus, okay? Wow, Three of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Well, what I'm getting with this is that kind of realizing that you may be carrying some, some of even your ancestors like your families um with the water like you may be wanting to learn more about your family like dna history like whatever the case may be ancestry you may be wanting to travel to places where you know your people came from i hope you ain't want to you might no i ain't gonna say that okay so Tell me more. What do they need to know about this life? What do they need to know about what's going on now or in the future? Okay. 
yeah, I'm getting this energy again with the seven of swords of you just had so much that was taken from you that you feel afraid. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. With the death card. That's giving me like this past life energy again. Now, for some of y'all, you could have um, an ancestor around you or passed over a loved one that was that went through this. Okay, so literally, this is this could be your a grandmother or grandfather or whatever the case may be who passed over and they went through this in the life that you knew them. Okay, with the death card. <clears throat> And they could be sending you some kind of signs with this four of cups. Yeah, this is like grandfather or father type energy. Four of swords. You be, you're being protected. But you might not feel like it with some of these cards. Hmm. Dang. Okay, so the nine of swords. And then the Queen of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Hmm. So, tell me more. What's the Nine of Swords? So, this could be... You feel... Maybe you feel blocked off from somebody here. But it's like they're around you, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Cups. You may be dealing with some kind of ending here, or you may have lost somebody. Yeah, you, you might have somebody on the other side that's just like around you, okay? They send the energy your way or something and guiding you somewhere. Guiding you through something, all right, with this Six of Swords. Wow, you could be seeing 66. Okay, this feels like a family member. This could be somebody who, who liked to grow things, okay? There could be somebody here that was in the military, that don't necessarily have to be the same person. Okay. Somebody could have been... Yeah, this is giving me some kind of officer or something like that. They might regret how, how they held back. Okay, but I'm getting like this energy of you're being protected here by somebody on the other side. Wow. They may be... Yeah. Watching you here, of course... With the page of swords watching over you. And it's like they feel the energy that you send towards them. Okay? With the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're proud of you. The moon. They're proud of you, but they feel like you hold yourself back. Okay? You could be seeing 888. Okay, temperance with the Knight of Wands and the Lovers here. Well, that's interesting. They feel like that you should you should follow your passion, or they feel like you are following your passion, or something like that. Okay. Hmm. You could be taking some kind of leap of faith here. Towards some kind of goals, possibly, okay? Or something like that. Something you're passionate about here, okay? <laughs> and this could have been somebody that... <clears throat> for some of y'all, I don't know if this is um somebody on the other side who you were with, okay? You could be literally there. Um, you could be this Queen of Pentacles energy that they're watching okay if this is somebody maybe you had kids with or something all right they had to leave all right is what i'm getting 
<laughs> then the King of Pentacles comes out with the Nine of Cups. Wow. <sighs> okay, for some of y'all, for somebody here, um, y'all getting like that. This is this could be either like parents or grandparents or something that's together on the other side. That's crazy. I've never seen those cards like that before. Okay. So if it's not galactic and you know this could just be like ancestry, ancestry, okay. Um, this is giving me like somebody that went through, like went to the light or whatever the case may be. And somebody was waiting behind that door or something like that on the other side. Okay. Hmm. So now what I'm getting with these is that it's like family coming together to protect you here or that they have been protecting you and see this is like the energy of somebody looking down like on their kids okay not looking down on them but looking watching over them okay with like a smile on their face proud okay i feel like something you've been praying for is coming in some kind of goal here or you could just be worrying a lot you could be worrying a lot but it's like they hear your prayers wow king of cups cancer pisces scorpio Hmm. The four of wands with the seven of pentacles. <clears throat> Everything is going to go smooth with some kind of situation, okay, that you've been stressing about. Everything is going to go smooth <laughs> is what I'm getting. You've been stressing about a situation and everything is going to work out. So stop stressing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is like, this is like family energy. This is like, to me, like a, sometimes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There's a lot of energy of somebody who like to plant things. Okay. Okay, so there's these new beginnings coming in for you. What just happened? It's like, look like my light went off or something. I don't know. Okay, then the Ace of Swords, some kind of contracts, okay, coming together or something, okay. You could be clearing some things up um, from the past or, you know, just clearing things up is what I'm getting. Let's get, um, let's get something from the Sacred Forest. Use your intuition is showing up at the bottom of this deck. So, I'm going to take that for y'all because it's like maybe you're already following your intuition. Or, yeah, it looks like you are. You're following, you know, something here. You got an open heart. Your prayers. It's like your, um, your heart is in the right place. Okay, so you got the Ace of Cups, too. The Ace of Pentacles, so the Pentacle, I don't think that one was out here, or was it? No. So that's probably what you're worrying about, the financial situation, okay? Something about a house, possibly. Or just something that's worrying about money, whatever the case may be. But, yeah. I'm getting, like, this energy with this one here of um, some kind of pets being with with the family members or some kind of pet with them okay what do they need to know what do they need to know from the sacred forest <clears throat> oh my gosh this one right here is like wow something about somebody's jewelry okay possibly okay but 
wise woman of the grove. It's like you're you're gonna handle everything with grace. And there's some kind of miracle coming in here. Look, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> because look, so the pot of gold don't have to be literally about money, but it can be. But it can be just about the nine of cups is about wish fulfillment, like everything working out. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> and then this is giving me like this this pure energy of whoever this is um, on the other side that's around you, like that's passed over. This person is really like, their energy is really nice, okay? It's like an energy of love towards you. <clears throat> All right, what else do they need to know? And I'm saying, and dream catcher fell on the floor. So something about a dream catcher could be significant. You've grown a lot here. Master number 44. Stay focused, all right? Um, something about eagle spirit and freedom. And there's that unicorn down there. Oh, my gosh. Uh... Dang, that song, The Wind Beneath My Wings, is coming to my mind. That's going to make me freaking, that's going to mess me up. No. Okay. No, somebody is like literally flying above you. Like, well, I don't know about literally, but they're in spirit. Okay. Don't this look like a grandfather? Oh, my gosh, y'all. I did not think this was going this way. Okay. Or this could be, you know, someone that is, no, that unicorn energy, that's like somebody on the other side. That's like, maybe that's how their spirit was when they were alive. And now it's like they're flying above type thing. I don't know, y'all. That was really interesting. Or this is giving me this energy of like they're, they're no longer um, imprisoned by a body too. Like, they're so free. Look at that. Like, they crossed over happily. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is really beautiful. Well, thank you guys for watching. That's what I got for y'all. Hope to see you again. Bye.